think they met Mr. Kumar 12 years ago, 14 years ago, something like this. He was already very famous, but uh, uh, looking for the few outside, uh, he became really an enormous star architect today. And uh, of course, uh, I had a long friendship with him, but uh, I didn't know that he was now a so enormous architect. I know that he's produced a lot of work uh, in the 10 last past years. Uh, I remember the first project I saw was the, the oh, you forget this building, M2, M2 building? M2 building, a very curious building with an enormous Corinthian column. And uh, it was the pair who just left the studio of Isozaki you worked with a long time and uh, defining his own practice. And uh, I met him because I was very interested by a project named uh, the Bamboo House. Uh, I, thought, uh, I feel that it was a very important project at the period. And uh, I think I entered the models and uh, in the collection at home I managed at the period in the track center. And it was not so well known in France, but now he's building two projects or three projects in France. And uh, he got also an enormous commission here uh, for the VNA uh, in Dundee. In, in Dundee. Uh, what I liked in the work of uh, Mr. Kuma is, the, of course, the work on the material and the way he play, is playing with. Uh, surely uh, typologies in architecture, mm. traditional typologies, and of course there is this beautiful project, uh, a building of a pile of house, uh, absolutely, we surely make him absolutely famous all over the world immediately, because it's a it's fabulous project. I met him when he built the uh, LVMH project on uh, Monte Sanzo, famous beauty, beautiful building, and now he diversified his, uh, his uh, vocabulary. <coughs> Playing with Matteo, reversing the, the game with the roof and the, and the ground, uh, playing with elements and classifying all the modernist items. The most impressive last work, there is a big main museum, many stores, it's a long history, you will see some in the projection, but for me the most amazing is the house he built in uh, New Canaan. Because of course New Canaan is the, you have two famous houses in New Canaan, you have the, uh, the Mies Van Der Rohe house and you have the Philip Johnson glass house, two glass houses, and the way he played with such iconic typology of the glass house was very surprising, and I think all the, the very uh, precise and uh, elegant vocabulary to falsify uh, iconic piece of modernism is, is, is in this project. There is, of, co of course, many others uh, playing with the traditional Japan house, uh, with sometimes very surprising material like plastic, uh, but also stones in many ways, and surely invite a completely new way to understand the identity and singularity of the architectural object. Mr. Kuma? Uh, thank you, Frederick, for as a, as a very as a as a deep introduction of uh, my work. And today, <coughs> as a, I want to speak about the <coughs> relationship between the disaster and the, uh, the new direction of architecture, because we, as you know, we had the big earthquake and tsunami last year, as March 11, and the, as a. As already one year, one how you passed after that as the disaster, as I'm, and uh, I'm, I have been thinking about so what, what will come next. As a, as a, the first image I show you today is the, the, big, the big earthquake. It happened in 1755 in Lisbon. And uh, the many people died. The, more than 60,000 people died as by this earthquake. And the last year, as a March 11 earthquake, we, as a, the three thirty thousand people died, but it's, it's a double. It's just a really it's a big disaster for, for human. And uh, and after that, the new direction of design started. The, and the, the I I can call that direction is a, the macro to micro direction, the top to bottom directions. The, as it can also be called the scientific the approach to design, so, and, uh, and, the, and probably the much the, the role of much it will be opposite the, from that direction. And next disaster is a Chicago earthquake, it's a Chicago a big fire, it's, it's happened 1871, and as a, after that disasters, the 
new kind of architectures is studied. The Chicago School and the big buildings, the concrete structures, steel structures, and also that direction be, is, is similar to the, the direction after Lisbon. It's uh, macro to micro, the, the globalization, industrialization, the, the, that kind of trend. And in Japan, the, we had the similar disasters be, before. It's happened in 1923. And uh, if you're in Tokyo, the, you can see this street. This is Ginza Street. It's the main uh, the shopping street in the center of Tokyo. But around that street, so most of the buildings are, are, are destroyed by fire and earthquake. And very few buildings left. And, uh, this is a Kabuki theater. So now the, so we are designing the new Kabuki theaters on that site. But, uh, but the neighbors are all, all destroyed. And, that, and surprisingly, more than 100,000 people died. And after the disasters, the, the, the Japanese government uh, does, uh, decided to change Tokyo and decided to change Japan. And the new direction after that disaster was the industrialization of, of Japan. And uh, those small wooden buildings <coughs> as a, could not survive after that disaster. And uh, the many concrete buildings and many steel structure buildings were built after that. But, the, but people forget the respect to nature, appreciation to nature that they forgot. And finally, <coughs> so we, had, we had that disaster last year. As uh, so, so Ishinomaki is uh, April to uh, last years, I took this picture by myself. And, and uh, so Ishinomaki was like that. And the reason why I went to Ishinomaki is this building. I designed this building in Ishinomaki. This is a building I designed in Ishinomaki. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the building is still, it's still here. <laughs> this is a building I designed. And uh, the, as of uh, March 11, the last year, I was in Taiwan. And I, was, as a, I, I did a meeting with a, as a Taiwan client. <clears throat> but they, as suddenly, as a, someone whispered, as a big earthquake happened in Tokyo. And uh, we, we switch on the TV. And so that just after one hour so from the, uh, the earthquake, the TV news or sh the showing is what happened in Japan. And uh, Ishinomaki, so they are showing the, the images of, of Ishinomaki. And the, so most of the buildings are in Ishinomaki are the, the floating in the, the water. And I was so surprised. What happened to my country? So the, and then I tried to call my family. I tried to call my office, but no connection at all. We couldn't talk with, we couldn't talk with anybody in Japan. And, and, and then the, I tried to call that building, but of course, no connection at all. And, uh, and the next day, as I went back to Tokyo, and, uh, and, but my family still there. <laughs> And my office was still there, so, but, as a, but I couldn't talk to that building. There's no connection to Tohoku area, up to North area. But the two weeks after disasters, the suddenly I got a call from them. And they said, so we are OK. And I said, why? <laughs> because the building is very close to the ocean, and also it's very low. As a, but the, as a, what happened here is, mm -hmm. this is a, as a plan. So, so this is a Kitakami River. This is Ishinomaki City. <coughs> and this is the entrance from Ishinomaki City. But as a, as a, tsunamis, 
the destroy that side of river and this side is okay this is the, the nature of tsunami one side of the rivers was destroyed but another side is okay that is the, the typical tsunami phenomena and then this side is okay and this building was is okay and uh, but i the two weeks after that i went to that building and the, i stand here i stood here and I was so surprised. Why? Because the, the rivers was like flood. The reason is the Ishinomaki, the, all the ground of the Ishinomaki dropped one meter. And I just was so shocked. The, the, that means the, the, earth, the ground dropped one meter means the water level raised one meter. And then river looks like that it's flat, and uh, the, I, uh, I I found the how nature is strong, uh, so, and we can we cannot resist such kind of strong uh, strongness. As I as a, as a, I really th the thought as a, the, the we should go to different directions of the 20th century. And, uh, and the, the, the theme of today is what is the new direction after that kind of disaster. And the next example is the small wooden box. <coughs> so this was designed by Bruno Taut, the German architect. And he came to Japan in 1936 and 1933. And, uh, and the 1933 was the year so when Nazis took over the government. And then the Bruno Taut should escape from Nazis, and he decided to come to Tokyo. And he designed that box in Tokyo. And, the, and I don't know why, but my father bought that box in the small boutique of Bruno Taut. And Bruno Taut opened a small boutique in Ginza, and uh, the, my father uh, liked this kind of design, and he bought that box. And so, and still, this box is in, in front of my desk, <laughs> and Bruno Taut is, is checking my design every day. <laughs> and, uh, as a, and then the Bruno Taut is very important as a person for me, and the. And the Bruno Taut the find something from Japanese design. And uh, do you know that hedge? This is very, very famous hedge of Katsura Villa. Because when Bruno Taut came to Tokyo, as uh, to, to Kyoto, so he, uh, the, he visited Katsura Villa. And in front of this hedge, he cried down. And people were so surprised. Why the, the, the famous architect was, uh, was crying in front of the hedge? <laughs> this is, it looks like the, 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 the bamboo hedge, but this design is, is very unique. Behind that hedge, the real bamboo f the trees is, is, are standing, and they don't cut the bamboo. So they, the, the bended bamboo like that, and the, this hedge is a kind of mixture of nature and human. The, the combination of natural, uh, logic of nature with logic of human. And then the, the finally, it like, was like that. And then Bruno Tart was so impressed to see that kind of the mixture of Two logics, and the, he wrote the, about Katsura Villa, and this is bam, famous bamboo terrace of Katsura Villa. He wrote, the Katsura Villa is the ideal example of future design. The, in 20th century, as a, he as a, he, he wrote, the, the, the goal of architectural design is to create the shape, but. The, he found the another 
the goal of design from Japanese in Japanese design. The goal of Japanese design is relationship, relationship between human and nature. And then the <clears throat> he wrote the book about the Japanese design. As a, and there's a please as a look at this bamboo terrace. This is a good example of the, the, is his goal, is how to combine nature and the artifact. And after the visiting Casa Villa, he designed this house. This is a sugar house in Atami. And in front of this, of this house, the Pacific Ocean exists. And so he wanted to create the relationship. He didn't want to create shape. And, and the, his design was like that. And so he used bamboo and so also bamboo and so some special the wood. <coughs> but in 1936, the Japanese didn't like that design, actually. <laughs> and at that time, the Le Colobiges, the, 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 the Villa Savoie, was uh, 1931. <laughs> and so at that time, the, 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 such kind of the white cube uh, the, was, was very, very popular for Japanese. And, but the blue tout design was very different from the Villa Savoie type design. And then the, this, the Japanese, Japanese didn't accept this design at all. And the blue tout decided to leave Japan. And he went to Turkey as, uh, at that time. And, uh, but <clears throat> the story is, I could design this house just next to Blue Tout House. This pine tree was, uh, was standing on the gardens of Blue Tout House. And uh, when I visited the site, uh, the, the woman from next house, the, so came to me and she said, if you are architects, so my house was very, very special. And actually it was very special because designed by Bruno Taut. And, uh, I, and then the, the I, I could see this house and I got many hint from that house. As a, as a hint from that house is relationship and the super juxtaposition. And the use of natural material, as a, as a how to as a fit with the landscape, and that kind of method, I got hint from Blue and Tout. And uh, the, actually, the, the, for my water glass villa, uh, the, this the terrace, the water terrace, <coughs> was inspired by the bamboo terrace of Katsura Villa. As how to combine environment and the building is a theme of this project. And then next is an important project for myself <coughs> is Hiroshige Museum. This is uh, completed to year 2000. And uh, this is very famous print of Hiroshige. And the method of Hiroshige is also to create relationship with nature and artifact. The so nature is rains and the river and the forest. And the, <clears throat> the, the artifact is the bridge. And his method is super juxtapositions of those layers, those multiple layers. And that method is very different from the method of, of Western painting. In Western painting, <clears throat> the contrast between the geometry and nature, and that there's a myth as a logic of nature and logic of humans, the contrasting in Western paintings. But in Japanese and Asian paintings, the two logics are melting. And this is another good example of Hiroshige, the super juxtaposition of nature and human. And you can see the one, two, three layers of forest, and also the, the another layers of the, the roofs of the building. And the 
this is a evidence of influence from Asian painting on Western painting. So this was by Vincent van Gogh, and Vincent van Gogh really respected Hiroshige. As a, and he as a, as a pick up three names from the history. One is Rembrandt, Cezanne, and Hiroshige. It's, it's a very strange combination, but it's, it's a, the three guys, Vincent van Gogh, who respect it. And this is another evidence of the influence of Hiroshige. The Hiroshige is behind that guy. And another, <coughs> another the influence of, from Hiroshige is this. This was a, 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 the drawing by Frank Lloyd Wright. And he came to Japan many times. The reason is to buy Hiroshige's wood, uh, wood block. And, and the method of his drawings was very much influenced by Hiroshige. The super juxtapositions and the melting of nature and humans, uh, and then as a, not by prospective method, not by the method of contrast. The, the melting super juxtapositions is the main is a method of this drawing. And <clears throat> the, in his autobiograph, the Frank Lloyd Wright autograph, before he died, the, he said that two Japanese, the, without two Japanese, the, I couldn't the, establish my method. The two Japanese, one is Hiroshige, another is Okakura Tenshin, the, the author of Book of Tea. And, uh, and his, Frank Lloyd Wright said, the, I learned the method of void, I learned the method of transparency from Hiroshige and the Tenshin Okakura. And, the, and then the, I could get a chance to design Hiroshige Museum. And it says that this building is a kind of homage to Hiroshige and Frank Lloyd Wright and Vincent van Gogh. So those three guys are very important for this building. The, one method is to project the position of nature and the building. And the natures and the buildings, as a, it is, as a, are not contrasting. As, <clears throat> as I try to as a, as a, as a make the as a melting situation of those the element, <clears throat> I want to explain by the, by using that. Uh, that this is typical structure of Japanese village. This is the main street. This is uh, the mountain. And uh, this mountain and the main street is always one set. And uh, because so without so this mountain, uh, this mountain is called the Satoyama, the village mountain. Without village mountain, they cannot survive. The materials of the buildings, and the, and the compost, and the, and the energy all came from the village mountain. And the, the, the mount, village mountain was the basis of their daily life. And then they built the shrine. The message from the shrine is to respect the mountain. And without the mountain, we, we cannot survive. This is a strong message from the shrine. But in 20th century, people forget the mountain. The people the only look at the Tokyo. So they don't want to look at the mountain anymore. Because the energy and the material and the information, everything is, were coming from Tokyo. This is a 20th century typical attitude. And then the, the mountain was abandoned. And this is my museum. As I want to connect the mountain and the center of the village again by the use of void. <coughs> this is a void, and this is the entrance of the building. And the, the visitors of the, the museum should the face the mountain. And that is a message from the, that building. <clears throat> but 
the client, my client, the, he said, this is a parking. Please have the entrance here. <laughs> And I said, no, 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 the, the, and, uh, because the, the mountain is, is more beautiful than my building, I said. But he said, the, the parking sh should be the entrance of the building. And, uh, is a typical 20th century client. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I fi finally, I could realize my the idea. This is a space between the mountain and the building. And the, most of the materials came from the <clears throat> The mountain, as the, those the the cedar as the came from the mountains, and the rice papers came from the crossma of this village, and also this the stones came from the village. And uh, and also the the structure of the space is the super juxtaposition, <laughs> like the laying of Hiroshige, <clears throat> like that the is a vertical lines is a <clears throat> it is a, the, the kind of translation of the laying of Hiroshige. And, uh, and also, the, uh, this shows us the method of super juxtaposition. And also, the furniture is working for is creating super juxtaposition. And uh, <clears throat> as the next story is about the Frank Lloyd Wright again, so his building is for Tokyo is the Imperial Hotel. And this is also for the material. Mm -hmm. so, so when he came to Japan as for this project, as he asked Japanese general contractors to show the every kind of stone of Japan. As a, finally, he chose that stone. This uh, stone is a very soft volcanic stone called Oya stone. And, uh, and, and peop uh, the people are uh, not happy to hear that because this Imperial Hotel is uh, the most expensive hotel in Tokyo, but the stone he selected is very cheap, dirty, soft stones. But the master said, the building should be made by that stone. And he said, because the, the harmony between the, the Japanese landscape uh, the, can be realized by the use of that soft stone. And, uh, and I, I understand why he selected that stones. As a, as a my, this is my project. But the location is very close from the quality of Frank Lloyd Wright stone, the Oya stone. Uh, the existing building was also made by the same stone. So I want to translate the softness of the stone in my way. So this is the existing part. This is my design. So the method is like that. It's a transition from the, the, the opaqueness to the transparency. It is gradually translated as a uh, as a moving to the transparency by the use of the composite structure. This is a system of composite structures with steel plate and the stone. So I uh, think the, the stone is, uh, has own logic, and the steel also has its own logic. And if we can combine steel and the stone, the, the we can the realize the, the some kind of harmony between nature and human. And the stone is, is, is working as a material f as a, of compression, and the steel plate is working as a, as a material for tension. And the structurally, it is a, a is a marriage of two structural system. And my engineer was checking by himself. <laughs> and, uh, and this is the interior. This is a new part of the building. And also, the structure it is a composite, steel and the st a stone. And the next project is about the natural material, bamboo. 
the, I'm very much interested in bamboo, and also uh, Bruno Taut also was very much interested in bamboo. And Charlotte Perian, she came to Japan, also she was very much interested in bamboo, so because bamboo is very straight, very uh, geometrical, but at the same time, the bamboo is natural. natural. And the bamboo had two faces. <laughs> but the problem of bamboo is that bamboo is, uh, get cracked easily if it's dried. And the, our solution to that building is to use bamboo for for the mark of concrete. So we, the bamboo, the, you know the bamboo has small fillers, so we delete those fillers, and, uh, and then we put steel columns into bamboo, and we pour the concrete into bamboo, and, uh, and this is a kind of, as a, uh, bam, as a, as a co composite as a structure as well. As uh, we always as, uh, as making such kind of real size mock-up uh, to compare the dimension, because we basically don't trust drawing, because the drawing is two dimensional, and but this is as a as a really as a three dimensional as a as a uh, as a reality as a, and and finally we selected this for as the exterior and this for interior. Uh, this is a bamboo house, it's the first bamboo house in Japan. Uh, we please forget neighbors. Is a, is a <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a, the a interior. And uh, this is the floors of first floors. And then the first uh, ground floor and the first floors are basically transparent. So people can talk each other. And the uh, next is the second bamboo house in China, <clears throat> and just beside Great Wall. And the, again, the, I want to combine logic of nature with logic of human. The logic of nature is here. The, in 20th century, the, 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 the typical method for architects is to prepare the flat land, to cut the land, as a make the sculpture on this flat land. But, but for, for this project, we, the, we kept the original landscape as it was, and then the bottom of the building was following the landscape. And, and that is actually, the method of Great Wall was like that. The Great Wall could not cut the land. The Great Wall was following the landscape as it was. And the same method was up, adapted to this building. And uh, this is uh, the, the main space of this house. As we call, as this is the main space, it, it, this is another void which is connecting nature and human. This is the main space, which is connecting nature and human. And uh, the and the people also sometimes as a, as a use this space as a tea uh, tea, uh, tea, uh, tea rooms, and uh, and also as a, in Beijing Olympic, the film director Chan Imo, as a, he used that space for his. As a, as a commercial, as a CM of the Olympic, and uh, as a, and then after that, the, this building became very popular in China, and uh, then the, uh, the, some Chinese asked us to design the same kind of house in China. And, uh, not, I don't know as a as a. Is a still, it's, is a, that's kind of collaboration with China Japan possible now because China Japan now the situation is very complicated. <laughs> <laughs> but at that time, so we could do that. Uh, the next Chinese project is uh, this museum. Uh, so when I visited the site, so I saw the beautiful village with. Uh, the beautiful the ceramic tile roofs. 
the, this is a, the ceramic tile. The, the, uh, we, uh, got a, we got a hint from that village. But the detail of the, the, the using ceramic tile is very unique. This is a stainless the, uh, rod the, which is hanging the ceramic tiles. This is a detail. And the material itself is a very local, indigenous, uh, traditional material. But the, the method, method of fixing is very contemporary, is a very modern method. And also the geometry is, is a, as a, as a, so this is a kind of HP shell, as a HP shell method, as a hyperbolic paraboloid. Is a, is a, and then the contemporary geometry and contemporary technology and local material. Uh, this is a detail, so how to fix it. This is interior. Uh, this is, you can see the detail. And also this is a, is a new detail is by the use of ceramic tile, roof, ceramic roof tile. And the next project is called Chidori. <clears throat> it's a temple, uh, the temporary pavilion uh, for Milano Salone, uh, the, for the, <clears throat> uh, the courtyard of the uh, Palazzo uh, in Milan. And they, they asked, to, uh, the, asked us to design the one week building. <clears throat> and uh, I think one week is barely too short, but, uh, uh, but I, I but I got a, the, the hint from that toy of kids. The, that toy is, is a very, very smart system. Oh. <laughs> As a, the drawing disappeared, but uh, I could explain by the use of this. Uh, the, the three different the, the, the joint the can fix together like that. And uh, if the, we can twist the one, one bar, so we can the, uh, tie three bars the strongly. And without any nail and without any the glue, so we can fix those the element. And uh, that is a system. And our student completed this pavilion in five hours. And the, my next dream is to realize the permanent building by the use of this system. So we tested in my the laboratory of Tokyo University And, uh, and finally, the, my structure engineers uh, the, said, the, okay, we can use this system for the building like that. <clears throat> this, the, this is a section of the building. And this is a 10 meter high building. And uh, the thickness of the wall is two meters. And the, so we incurve the, this mass the, like that. And uh, finally, we can make that. So without any nail, so without any the steel joint, it's only twist the bar. This is the interior. And actually, the between the, uh, the this and this, so you can see the glazing. And also, this uh, the grid is used for the box or for exhibit. <coughs> Uh, 
And the similar system <coughs> is adapted to that other bridge. <coughs> this is a wooden bridge in the coach prefectures. And so I'm very much interested in using small, small the element, small, small unit. The start from small unit and going to the big hole is the, is the theme of this design. And for this kind of wooden bridge, the, we often have roofs because the wooden bridge is, is, should be protected by the roof. And then so we, can so we can get this kind of inter interior space. And this is used for the museum as well. And for, uh, so from the same village, I was asked to design a small hotel. As I was inspired by this small hat. And so this is a hotel we designed. So again, the, the, this is uh, <coughs> the traditional material. But, but the, the use of a traditional material is very different from the traditional way. Uh, the, this is the, the rotating window. And then if we, people want to get natural wind, so we can rotate that, that unit. And this is a unit. And this is the interior. Yeah, you can see the rotating system of the wind, as a, the such, as a block of made by such. As a, as a, we combine the, as a market, the vegetable as a market, as a, with the hotel. As a, then the, the people as a, are coming to that hotel to buy something. Uh, yes, uh, next is a very, very unique client. <laughs> <laughs> the location is in front of that famous uh, sh shrine. The Dazaifu Temangu shrine it was, it was built in nine. It's a very old building. And the look, the, it is shrine. Uh, this is Starbucks. Uh, as uh, my client and also the, the priest of the, the shrine, as a, they wanted to have the unique Starbucks. <laughs> because the, this uh, the street, the approach to the shrine, the, uh, the have many beautiful wooden, wooden shops. And uh, then and they, they thought the Starbucks should be different from normal Starbucks. And this is our solution. And that this is not interior design. This is a building design, and uh, this is a structure. And uh, this building was supported by these wooden, wooden as, uh, as units. It's a very, very difficult system to realize. <laughs> and the length, length of wooden as a element is, is uh, totally so four kilometers. But the price of the coffee is the same as the normal Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> and the recent projects as we did as a, in Tokyo, as a, as a, which was introduced by Frederick, is the Asakusa Cultural Center. As a, again, a, in, in front of this kind of the old building. Yeah, this is the location. The, if you go, go, go to Tokyo, so I recommend you to visit that uh, temple. This Galleria is uh, the, the same as Edo period. So you can get the, some, kind, some kind of the interesting items from, from, from there. And the, my site is here. And this is a model so we presented for the competition. The idea is very simple. The eight the wooden houses stacking each other. The, because that area 
there used to be the, the area of wooden houses. The, the, in the center, there is a, the main temple, but the neighbors are all the, occupied by wooden buildings. <clears throat> the, I, I want to uh, respect that kind of tradition. And also, I want to make the small building. The problem of the 20th century building is too big because they want to create a big, big, strong building. This is a mentality after Lisbon disasters. But as I want to go back to the <coughs> small things, small, the small, small micro the buildings. And the structurally, <coughs> as we are using those spaces between floor and the roof for the, the machines, and also we can create this kind of flow of spaces. And the here, the, the we have the, the small theaters. And the here, we have the, the, the cafe on the top. And uh, this is a galleria. And this is a new Tokyo Sky Tree Towers, so 600 meters. But uh, I don't recommend you to go there. <laughs> This is ground floor. Uh, this is small theaters. This is a terrace. And the next new building is the Nagaoka City Hall. <laughs> it's also completed this year. Uh, this is the location. Uh, this is a uh, Nagaoka station. It's a, it's a bullet train station. And very, it's a, it is very close from the, the station. And the idea of the mayors is to create the compact city. The, in 20th century, the Japanese cities the, were expanding the, to the suburb. But, uh, but the, because of that expansion, the center of the city is, uh, became, became barely boring as the, 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 the tragic space. And he wanted to... The, revitalize the center of the city, and then he found a very good site. And my proposition for the competition is to create this kind of space, doma. The, in Japanese traditional houses, we have doma space. The doma space, the, the material of the, the floor is the earth itself. And, uh, and this is a kind of the communication space for the neighbors. And if guests are coming to that house, the people can talk and people can eat in, in that kind of semi-outdoor space. So I want to uh, 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 reconstruct that kind of space. And so this is a doma we created for Nagaoka. The material of the, the plaza is earth itself. And, uh, and also we use uh, those kind of local material. That is, and uh, so we want, as so we are keeping the the skin of the the wood, so so, so we want to avoid the image of industrial material, and then the, the materials are the, all the different dimensions, the different textures, and it's very rough. As a uh, as a, as a every day, the people of, the, of, the, uh, of this city is, are coming to that place like that. As a, as a, as a, as a student, they are coming here to do homework, and the, those old guys are coming to here to eat something. And, <laughs> and the, every day, the, the space is like that. It is very unusual is for that kind of public building. Uh, this is the roof of this house, this as uh, a city hall. The, the automatic controlled, the photovoltaic panels. This is a detail. Uh, the, this is the big big doors, uh, the, which connect the this is as a, as a arena and the plaza. And the people are dancing every day like that. <laughs> And this is a congress. And the to con uh, this congress hall is also very transparent. 
and as, uh, as uh, people watching what happened here. <laughs> and, the, the, and recently, the, the we are uh, doing the similar project in different contexts. This is uh, our first uh, the French project, is Besançon City Arts and Cultural Center. The site is like that, sorry, the site is like that. So the city and beautiful river. So we want to combine the nature and human. And the, sa the same method as the Hiroshige Museum and same method as the Great Bamboo House. The void is connecting human and nature. The simple idea is to have the, the, the one single, single roof the, which is creating the void. And those also vegetation on top of the building and some photovoltaic panel on the top of the building. And the structurally, <clears throat> it's again the composite structures of wood and steel. And the wood is used for the roof and the steel is used for the columns. As a, this is a void that we created as a, which as a connect as a, as a space for human as, and beautiful river. And the next French project is Flac Marseille. And the, the, again, the, we want to create the void, those void, and the, those void are connected by the spiral passage. As, a, as for the material, so we try to find the local material. We visited some of the factory in Marseille, and finally we found this recycled glass. This is a detail. And this shows the, the movement of the, the people, activity of the people. As a, this is a typical narrow street of, the, of Marseille. And the, the movement of the street is going up to the top of the building. The, the void space is like that. And the next project is a project in Naples. It's called the Kaba Market. The <clears throat> I visited the quarry. This is a quarry, not my building. <laughs> As a, I, li I like the, this street on the, the stones because, please look at this, if the, the seeds of plants the hub can find a place in the street, the, it grows naturally because the stone is so soft. And so this is a volcanic soft stone from Besbio Volcano. As a, and then the... So my so the answer to that stone is have the street, the similar street, and the street is a, is a, can make something. And the, as a, as a also we can say the, the grains is a, can make something. And uh, this is a very challenging detail because the stone is very soft, but uh, we can uh, collaborate with our, the stone company in Italy and so they, they can fix the stone, stone louvers like that by the use of stainless mesh and the epoxy. And the next project is a project in uh, the Spain. It's the Granada Performing Arts Center. It's an opera house in Granada. And so we got a hint from this fruit. Uh, this time the fruit is, uh, and uh, I as I learned the, the, the structure system of these fruits. The structurally, this is composite structure of small grain and the big hole. And the name of the granada came from that fruit, the pomegranata. And another hint of this uh, the building is the geometry of this beautiful uh, Alhambra Palace.
the ge Islamic geometry is not popping particulars. Uh, they are using the 60 degrees, 30 degrees, very s in a smart way. And uh, and my the f my fruit is like that. <laughs> it is uh, also the small grain and the big hole. As, uh, so I don't want to design the big concrete the box. So I want to divide the big volume into the small grains, like Asakusa method. And this is the model. And this honeycomb structure is, uh, is supporting the building itself. We want to avoid column and beam system. And so by use of that the, uh, the, uh, honeycomb structure system, so we can create the intimate space for interior. The totally is, is not a small hole. It's a, a 1,500 seat, but we divided the, those spaces into 30 small holes, and then each hole has 50 seat. And the uh, intimacy of those uh, uh, spaces is, uh, can give different kind of ex experience. And the next project is here, UK, so Buyande at Dandi. As you know this building, and the hint is, came from that cliff of Scotland. The, as a, I like the small pieces of cliff. The, those small pieces the, can give the, the feeling of intimacy to that kind of uh, the, the strong nature. This is my first sketch. And this is the location of the building. And uh, this is the cliff we designed. As our idea is that the, 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 the precast concrete are stacking and then the creating the, the intimacy to that kind of the, the big volume. And also the void the, in the building is connecting river and the city. This is a void. This is a void as well. This is a section. And this is the interior. And also for interior, so we want to the, get the feeling of cliff, natural cliff. And the, in the Scotland, winter in Scotland is very severe and very cold. And so we want to the, the prepare this, this kind of big public plaza. And uh, they can as a, have the concert, and so they can have the performance here. And the, 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 the newest project, we, uh, the, we, when one of the competition is this station in Italy. <clears throat> as, a, it's a, as, a, as a first is Italian side station of high speed train from France to Italy. So our idea is the, again the, the, to combine ground and the sky is by the use of a spiral movement. Yeah, this is a, <clears throat> this is a station. This is high speed trains. As a, but the, uh, as a, I want to show, I don't want to show the, the speed train here. As a, as a, what I want to show is the roof. And the roof is connecting the ground and the mountain. And also the, the detail of the roof is inspired by the, the traditional the roof of the, the village. Uh, a tetorozan is the name of the traditional detail. Tetoroza, yeah, sorry. <laughs> And besides those, the, the bigger projects, we are doing the small experimental project. And the, those small project is small but very exciting. This is a small tea house for 
the Frankfurt Design Museum. And the Frankfurt Design Museum itself is, was designed by Richard Myers in 1973. A, my tea house, approach to my tea house is very different. The softness is a, the goal of this project. Because when I, the, the, when the, as a, I was asked by the director of the museum to, to design this tea house, he said, don't use natural material. <laughs> <laughs> but was, but is that why, I, I asked I ask him, but he said, the vandalism here in Frankfurt was very, very severe. It is not Japan. And uh, as if you use uh, the bamboo or if you use uh, wood as earth or if you use wood, the next morning, building will disappear, he said. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the, ah, the, I got a hint, disappear. Okay, the, the building, if you need building, the, you can build the building the, the, by inflating. And then the, in 15 minutes, you can build this building. And the, the vandalism cannot do anything for <laughs> that kind of building. <laughs> this is a structure, the double skin structures. And this is interior. The, this is a typical small doors for tea house. The, 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 the standard size is a 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter. This is interior, this is a place for fire. And this, this uh, the lounge uh, the sheets as they're connecting exterior and interior. Temperature, memory, alloy. And if temperature is high, so 30 degrees, the building has this the, the, the lounge shape. And if the temperature is getting low, the building is, is melting. It's, it's a kind of melting. And this is a structure. As a 30 centimeters diameter of this unit, as a, as a, and, the, and the dimension of this is a two millimeters, and then this is the, the ring itself is not strong, but if we connect the ring like that, it, we can make the dome structure. This is a dome structure because the, the metal itself is very soft, and we need this kind of the, the form uh, to support the, that, the, the, the shape. And then so finally we can make it. This is uh, also the small entrance, the small door. And this is the core day, and the top of the building is dropping like that. As another small project is uh, made by aluminum card. And this is a, is a very famous small street in Kanazawa. And so we are asked to design the, some small uh, the sh shelves and furniture for that street. As a, as a, the material of the, the traditional houses is wood, but I want to use the very thin aluminum panels to match that the delicate scale. This is a joint. This is a joint system. And this is a joint. And after that experience, so we decided to make the house, experimental house, by the use of this element. This is a section of the house. And the, and the, and the uniqueness of that house is this is the, the house, but at the same time, this is the furniture. We don't want to have the flat floor. The, the every section of the house is different like that. So again, our students are work, working very hard. Then so finally, we can make it. This is a kitchen. <laughs> the only one element, only one, one vo as a vocabulary. As a, after <clears throat> that, that experience, so we designed this so, a boutique for French designer. 
please look at this detail. The same detail, but the same detail. But the but main element is not aluminum, but the joint system is very similar. So from the one joint system, we can create this kind of the, uh, the organic shape. And this is a secret of the life. So from the very simple system uh, to achieve the complexity. And the next project is a project from the Milano Triennale 2008. Uh, the theme of the Milano Triennale that year is Casa de Tutto. And, uh, but if you're a Japanese, uh, the, probably you can understand my joke. The so casa in Japanese, uh, the, uh, we call it the umbrella. And then the casa de tut means umbrella house. So then I translated the casa de tut for the umbrella house like that. And uh, it's a kind of house for refugee. And uh, our idea is very simple. So if everybody is, uh, is, uh, can, is, uh, can have the one special umbrella, Something happened, the earthquake, tsunami, the people the, can escape the, uh, the, with that special umbrella, like that. <laughs> and uh, and the, if the 15 umbrella can come together, so they can build that house. Wow, that's it. The, 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 the joint of the umbrella is very simple, it's a zip, zipper. Zipper joint. Interior is like that. And 15 people can live in that, in that umbrella house. And uh, this is a kind of translation of uh, Buckminster Fuller's Fuller Dome. But the, the big difference is structure. The uh, Buckminster Fuller, this is a flame structure. But, but this is not flame structure. The tension of the steel and the comp uh, tension of the uh, compression of the steel and tension of the membrane are working together. It's a kind of composite structure again, and then we can minimize the size of the steel. And uh, so, uh, do you remember the triangular element of the umbrella? It's, it is used for window. And actually, is a they, they, re, they stayed night in that house, and they are drinking like that. The material is, <coughs> uh, is, is a, a Tybeck so from the Dupont company. The next project is inspired by the polytank for construction. <coughs> the first type of uh, as a water block <coughs> is like that. It's, it's very similar to Lego idea. So for the bottom, so we put waters to make it heavy. And for the top, this is still is a, is a vacant. And then so we can get stability for the, this structure. And the second version is water branch. The, it is for MoMA exhibition in 2008. And the, it, is very, it is very long, and we call it branch. And this is a, the how to make it. This shows how to make it. This is a rotating the, uh, the production system of plastic. And the, this is a, the, the, the detail. The important thing is uh, the bulbs, number of bulbs, two bulbs. And two bulbs means which is a, is a, can create flows of liquid like that. And uh, this is mobile exhibition. And after mobile exhibition, <coughs> uh, so we so created this small experimental house in Gerarima, Tokyo. Uh, the basic idea is it's, it's a self-sufficient house. And then the, we can get hot waters from this collector. And uh, the water is, the, the waters are, hot waters are, is flowing in that house. And this is very similar to human body. The, the human body is like that. The, it is the, the cell of human body. 
and the, the water is running in the cell of the human body. And there's a, in the, in the very different from architectural, architectural system. Architectural system, the structures, skin, and the pipe are all divided. But in human body, the, the, there is no t as a, um, as a boundary, and the skin and bones, and the everything are as a, so much as a connected. And also the origin of the each element is one single cell. And uh, then uh, we are connecting those cells by the pipes. And finally, we can make it. And the important thing is the only one element can create everything, like the body of life. And this is kitchen. It doesn't look like, but this is a bed. <laughs> doesn't look like, but uh, the every function already there. And also generator here. So because it is a self-sufficient house. As the next experimental project is uh, as, a, as a conversion of the ranch for force. So we got a hint from this traditional house of Hokkaido. So Hokkaido is very north and very cold, and the house was like that. It's very soft. I like the softness of that house, and then the, we. So our house is also very soft. It's a double skin house. And the, and the between the double skin, the, the, the photo, uh, photo air is uh, circulating. And this is uh, our house. And, uh, and already the, we have those buildings. And the, the Tokyo University, our university, is, uh, 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 working for this project. And uh, the, uh, this project started last year, and we want to do the, some kind of collaboration uh, with you and, uh, the, uh, and uh, in future. Uh, this is a beautiful uh, uh, the space in Hokkaido, so, uh, and we can do the workshop here, if you like, uh, like that. And the last project I show you today is EJP project. <coughs> It is for uh, the, the East Japan, as a, then we call it East Japan project. As a, as a, we are working for some projects for uh, the reconstruction, but the reconstruction is very, very slow because, the, because of weak governments and because of stupid politicians. And, uh, and, and then the, as a beside those projects, we started that project with a craftsmanship, with a craftsman of that area. The, the Tohoku area, the up north area, uh, is, uh, has very good uh, the craftsmanship, like him. And the, the, he is uh, making that kind of uh, the, the element. And by the use of this element, we can make shelves chairs, tables, and anything can be made by that system. And we are inviting young designers to join that project, so including the Bullock and the Ingels. And the, and the next project is uh, working with as, uh, this, as old ladies. As, uh, she's making the beautiful the kimono as a uh, old rice paper. <coughs> And so we designed as, as a fans with her as a, for the hot summer without air conditioning system. And so this is a, the next project with her. This is a bottle by rice paper. So as a, as a, through those projects, so we want to as a, as a find the as a potential of the traditional material. The traditional material, it's, it's a, if we can combine the contemporary technology with the traditional material, so we can go to the next step. And uh, the, those projects are very small, but the, if we can the, find something in the small element, so we can st start from the small, we can start from the bottle to the bigger scale project. And uh, this is a lesson of the, from the earthquake. Thank you very much.
so we can make the, the real strongness. That is a big lesson. Thank you very much. Thank you. 